Your voice is very calming, but no! <laughs> he wants me now! I can sense it. This series was made possible by the help of our patrons. More at the end of this video. Disclaimers, there will be no mentions of God or similar names. I wish to avoid using them. This work is fictional and is not meant to harm any religion or religious figure. Mentions of a lot of things. Hey guys, California Maggie here. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Hold on. How come? There we go, my face is working now. I look dead in the... I look dead in here, it's like I sold my soul already. <laughs> and welcome to... Game by Chani MK, the same people who made... Lily's Lullaby. Hush Little Lily, sorry. This is... Forgive My Sins. A civil confession. Any sins discussed in the confessional will never be disclosed. Actually, I can turn off my VTuber at this point. You, it might block the screen too much. Let's start. Whoa! Settings, please. Okay, let's tone down the music a bit. That's loud. There are four endings. Is there a guide? Guess not. Forgive my sins, 1.0. I sat in the booth waiting the next person who wants to confess their sins. This might be fulfilling my duty as a... Hold on. To perform as a priest, giving people penance is like providing closure to those who are deeply troubled by regrets. I also try to impart to sinners with my wisdom and advice, if it's deemed necessary. Seeing people free from remorse gives joy. That's not... Look, um, right off the bat, that's already a bad sign. I mean, that's already a play on the words, I can tell. <laughs> and that is why I became a priest. I stared intently at the holes in the screen, squinting my eyes to check if anyone was approaching me. Then I heard footsteps echoing through the empty halls. A person approached me, hiding behind the widescreen. TV. Ooh, we got TV. I'm one of those people who has to say it. Their face wasn't clearly visible for the sake of privacy. F forgive me. The voice, who I assumed to be that of a young man, stuttered. That's me? Oh yeah, I'm about to get fucked, and not in the good way. <laughs> Take a deep breath, there's no need to be nervous. My apologies, Father, for this is my first time here. First time at church? No. Then I see you meant it's your first time to confess. Yes. You made the right decision to come here. Now let us over prop start over properly from the beginning. I proceed to recite the opening ceremony, followed by making a gesture with my hand touching my forehead, middle chest, left and right shoulder. Amal. Amal. After that was done, I waited patiently for him to confess. Bless me, for I have sinned. The man sounded much more relaxed compared to before. What is this? I had an argument with my fiance. Please don't leave her for me. <laughs> Disputes in a relationship occur often. As long as the two of you learn your mistakes and forgive each other, everything will be fine. But I don't know if I can after what she said to me. He cannot forgive his fiance, yet he came to the confessional booth to ask for forgiveness. Please provide further details or whatever makes you comfortable with confiding in me. I wish to offer you the best advice. He paused for a bit. Your voice is very calming. But no! <laughs> he wants me now! I can sense it. It's like I can tell you anything. Yeah, no. No. I... At the diner down the street, that's where the bottoms brunch. That's where I go. Good to hear. You see, my mother died many months ago, but she never left the will. Now all the relatives seek her inheritance. I, on the other hand, am too timid to join their disputes, so I didn't chase after the money. When the dispute was settled, barely any inheritance was left for me, her son. I didn't mind, but my fiancé did. She argued we needed the money to plan her wedding. 
Miss Panda and Ludwig could just save up, but then she started to cry hysterically. She yelled that I didn't care about a future together, so I snapped and shouted back. That made it worse, and she screamed like a maniac. I bet all the neighbors heard her voice. Then she kicked me out of the house. Until this day, I can't get that image of her rage out of my mind. The way she screamed and pointed her finger at me, it was as if she no longer loved me. It was as if she turned into a demon at that moment. Is she becoming a demon? I assure you, your fiance is not a demon, nor is she possessed. Young, just a young lover's score. Oh my god, dude. Don't belittle it like that. <laughs> so if you're kicked out of the house, where do you stay now? She eventually let me back in, but it seems as though our relationship has changed. She acted normally, but I can't. I've seen that monstrous, evil side to her. That was during the moment of rage. If she's acting like everything's back to normal, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess, but I doubt they'll ever see her the same way as I had before. I should have never fought with her. I should have not yelled back. How big is my sense of getting involved in a- Um! That's not a sin. What a good impure man though. I kinda- I kinda wanna punch him. I sincerely wanna punch this guy. An argument with a loved one is inevitable. It's bound to happen eventually. Oh, are these the four endings? Let me save. You also express regret that it was all I wanted to hear. Thank you. Receiving penance from me is truly a blessing. I thank you for making me feel at ease. Then we shall end the confession here. Um. Then the young man left. I'm highly concerned. Um. And I conducted a sermon that Sunday. When it was over, some attendees left while others stayed to mingle. It was fulfilling to see all the interactions, friendships that blossomed over time in this holy shelter. While I was shaking my hands off the attendees who came to thank me, I spotted a young man alone in the corner. When I was left to myself, I approached him. Did you come alone? That sounds gross! <laughs> the man realized he was being talked to and shoved back in surprise. Oh, it's him. It's, you scared me for a moment there. That voice, I recognize that voice. It's the same fellow who came to confess the other day. Not that it matters to me to know their identity. His voice is just distinguishable. Aren't you going to talk to the others? I'm not interested in making acquaintances. I'm just waiting for the confessional booth to open. Do you remember me? I spoke to you in there, la to you in there last week. Should you be openly informing this to me? Don't you want to keep your privacy? I trust you, fucking yandere bullshit. <laughs> Vince. Then instead of the widescreen, would you prefer face to face? No. You're very beautiful, I'm afraid I might get this trip. <laughs> okay, Kel. <laughs> I actually came to this trip frequently in the past few weeks. And now you're finally talking to me, and that makes me so happy. I really admired you ever since I first heard your sermon. and I've always been watching you very closely. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was afraid to approach you back then, but since I had something to confess, I used that as an opportunity to talk to you. Seeing you always made me feel peace even more so when I'm talking to you. Yet I couldn't help myself but feel some- Yeah, that's unsettling. <laughs> so perhaps flirting? Doesn't he have a fiancé? He raised his wrist to check his watch. Only ten minutes left. I have loads to tell you today. He killed somebody. His beaming innocent grin made me realize that his words earlier must have only meant pure- Legends. Oh, uh, by the way. The name's Samael. Well then, Samael, follow me. Ten minutes early it may be, but let's get to confessionals. Thank you. Opening prayers. Bless me, I have sinned. What are your sins? We fought again. You see, fiance have been coming home late, and I found out that she's been going to a bar with her co-workers. There's this handsome man amongst them, so I knew she would be interacting with him. I grew suspicious. Once, when she thought I was asleep, I saw her texting him. Isn't that cruel? Why is she talking to someone? Oh no, this is sounding a little dark. I wonder if she doesn't love me anymore, so I confronted her about it. She called me over-possessive that I'm always jealous over nothing. She told me I was misunderstanding everything and saw part of work, and she got angry that I was accusing her. It was bigger than the last. I feel envious. That co-worker of hers is smarter and richer than I am. I was afraid she would leave me. That's the only reason I fought with her. Are my sins big? You know what? Let's try to forgive him. Moderation skill. You acted out because of your love for her, so you did nothing. Oh no. I, I'm enabling somebody. This is real dark. 
Okay. There was no mass, so barely anyone was present. It was just me and a few visitors who were praying silently. Amongst them was a familiar young man who sat at the pew at the end. His hands clapped together tightly as he lowered his head to pray. I walked over to him. The sound of my soul's hitting against the marble floor was loud enough to alert him. He looked up at me and smiled sheepishly. I wanted to see you. Here to confess again? Yes. Back then I also thought I should pay my respects to my deceased mother. It was the first time I prayed to her ever since she passed away. You look troubled. Is there anything you want to confide in me to make you feel better? I guess I can tell you anything. The thing is, I never loved my mother. My father died when I was young, so it was just the two of us. Mother was a drunkard who didn't care about me. She just left me to my old bear. She neglected. Her neglect grew worse when she met her then boyfriend. He was an evil man, possibly the devil himself. Boyfriend, he would come to my room and. Whoa! 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 No! Uh. Even after all these years, I still resent that incubus my mouth. Poor thing. His hands began to tremble and I reached over to hold them to give him some comfort. Sorry for making you remember something horrible. That's alright, I wanted to do, you know everything about me. I've actually never told this story to everyone, even my own fiancé, because I was ashamed. But your presence makes me feel at peace, that's why I confided. Keeping your secrets buried can be suffocating, I'm glad I could help you let it out. Indeed, I feel lighter. You're nothing like my mother, says boyfriend. You're gentle. You're gentle. <laughs> Sorry, Dagon Ronda. How I admire you. His grip on my hand tightened. When are the confessionals open? Anytime, but let's wait until you relax first before we head inside. As caring and gentle as always. Opening prayers. Bless me. I don't know if you'll forgive me. I extremely worry that you'll hate me for it. I don't want you to hate me. That would devastate me. I'm not here to judge. I'm listening to you. I'm biased simply to give you advice. If I were to judge others, that would be wrong of me. Yes, I shouldn't have doubted you. I can confide everything to you. What are your sins? I failed. Even after my last visit, even after I received the penance review, I let Jensi consume me when I found out she spent all night at her co-workers. She claimed that it was just rumors that she actually stayed overnight at the office, but I don't believe her. She's cheating me, I'm sure of it. I feel an impure presence whenever I'm around her, so I too cheated back to get back at her. What have you done? Oh, double whammy. Indeed you did. As you should be. I'm truly worried about the dead one, so I'm asking you for forgiveness. Is my sin great, Father? You know what? But you should be considering your fiancé's actions. It's not my fault, she's the one who started everything. I wonder if I can... I felt a pair of eyes boring holes into me. I turned around, Samuel was standing right beside me. Behind me. Did I scare you? No. That's usually me, though. <laughs> the, the quietly coming up to people. No wonder it's quiet. No one's around. It hasn't even been a week since you last attended. Have you been keeping track of my visits? How I appreciate your attention. I came today because I wanted to see you. So badly desired to talk to you and be surrounded in your presence. That's kind of creepy, freaking me out. No, not yet. I will confess my sins later. Of course, I want to tell you more about myself as Samael, not as a sinner. Do you remember when I told you about my mom being neglectful? I was thinking long and hard about it, and I realized I just want to be loved. So I was scared the moment I felt like my fiancé stopped loving me. So, so scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. Love is everywhere. Would you consider this hunger for love and obsession? Yes, but having desires is what makes us human. Pardon me for asking, but what do you desire, Father? If I had earthly desires, I wouldn't have become a priest. Then what are the odds of you coming to desire all... That's a rather odd question. Should you not be focusing on your fiancé's intentions and mine? Yes, but I'm concerned. What will I do if my fiancé stops? And you'll have to figure it out in the future. There's no easy answer, but I believe you will overcome it if it were to happen. A frown plastered on his face. What's the matter? Now I should tell you about the sin that I committed. 
That's me. I've sinned. Let's see. What's your sins? I locked my fiance into base. Oh no! No! What did I just hear? I was petrified. This was not what I was expecting. Nor have I encountered anyone else confessing something this absurd. How long do people last with food and water? I forgot. Okay. Without water, two days. Without food, one week. You have to let her out. I can't, Father, I can't. She's going to leave me if I let her go. His voice cracked. Even though his screen was blocking us, I could tell he was either crying or about to. That could only mean she must feel the same way, but I can't let it happen. She needs to love me. I mean, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Okay. Let her go immediately once you return on I'll only forgive you then. But you should know that violence and abuse is never your answer. Make you sure you truly repent. Good now, end our session here. Oh my god, no, no, no. A full day hasn't even passed since you were here last. Oh no, blood. I have to confess as soon as possible. I wanted to see you. I wanted to hear your voice, your soothing, angelic voice that resonates in my heart, a washing away every ounce of guilt. Let's go to the booth. Every sin that's spoken here is meant to be kept secret, and if you tell anyone else, you'll be breaking your word. Cor oh no, this is dark now. <laughs> Oh, I felt my pants turn moist from sweat as I anticipated this answer. She's gone. I killed my fiance, I stabbed her to death. My heart sank, I was at a loss for words. What have you done? I decided to let her out of the basement. Even though she was weak, she starts saying that she's going to call the police. She even called me a psychopath and that she hated me. Why does she hate me? I don't understand. Her words, they hurt me. It's like the devil possessed her to flick pain upon me. I couldn't take it anymore, so I grabbed the kitchen knife and stabbed her. See, this is the problem when you, um... When you keep keep blaming it on the devil, no accountability, none. Fucking hell, this is sorry. This is also bringing. It's not the one one is to one, but it's kind of similar uh, to what I'm experiencing now. Because I can trust whatever, that you won't ever tell a soul, right, Father? You have to keep your word. This time he sounded demanding, like he refused to hear anything else. Besides, the sealed confession prevented me from disclosing any information heard within the confessional. I feel deep regret for what I'd done. She was never meant to leave me. I, she loved, I loved her. She loved me. This heavy guilt weighs on me. But if I repent, I'll be forgiven, right? What the fuck do I say to this? I'm gonna save and see if there's gonna be a distinguishable... You're right, what have I done? She's dead because of me, how do I fix this? You can't, the only way for you to make it just right is to repent. Isn't it too late? I can't bring her back from the dead. You must turn yourself into the police, but I'm not allowed to force you to do so. It's up to you whether you want to or not do you want to do the right thing. The right thing is have to repent. Only be forgiven if I repent. Thank you for giving me the answer. Before I take myself to jail, may I hear your closing prayer? How I yearn to hear more of your voice. He listened closely. Amo, Amo, thank you. Thank you for showing me the light. I hope you'll find the peace that you desire. Alright. He had turned himself over to the police. I knew this since I saw him on the news. I was happy that he did the right thing, but I still felt upset because this tragedy could have been prevented. He was just a man who's lost and blinded by emotions. I knew he was still a good man, even though he murdered someone. I had a new wish, and that was to help him turn over a new leaf, so I decided to pay him a visit in prison. 
I'm overjoyed that you came all the way to see me. How are you doing? Trying to do the best as I can to repent. Every night and morning, I recite scriptures and I was teaching them to my other team. Cellmates are proud of me. That's because I no longer have any worries. I ought to say this when I'm in jail, but I feel freer than ever. Me? You're the one who scolded me and taught me about repenting. Now I understand what you meant and I feel like a new man. I'm glad it all turned out well for you. I also think about you every day and night, desiring to hear you praise me. And praise you I shall, you're a good man. Pardon me, but if it's okay, will you keep visiting me, Father? I do appreciate your company very much. I'll pay you a visit. Self-confessing, I want to tell you about all the good deeds that I've done. I'd be happy to hear them. What ending is this? Okay. So there's a chance I could fuck up. Um, no, no. No. Okay, so he just left. He's not going to turn myself in. Well, a long day. Apologies, but it's already closing time. What are you doing here at this hour? Have I told anyone our little secret? No, I haven't. I'm not allowed to, so I kept my word. You can have, I can always count on you. You have yet to tell me what you're doing here. I haven't, have I? So tell me, what have you been up to ever since that incident? Did you know that killing someone- Oh no, I enabled it. Plunging a knife into their chest while they're crying out in pain. Every single one of them. Aside- others aside from fiancé. Oh no! Stop, what are you doing? Tell you the truth, I've always liked your gentle voice. I wonder how it'll sound when you're screaming. It- Oh no. <laughs> no! Ah! <laughs> uh yeah, I felt that in my headphones. So, let's try saving him from the get-go. I'm wondering if there's a way. Oh, to get into the- okay, pick, pick it in the same order. Alright. She's not the one for you. I'm glad that they gave that- <laughs> I know it's supposed to be obvious. But, yeah. Alright. I- did I scare you? No. Come to me whenever you seek love. Oh no, I- I'm scared of what I'm enabling here. <laughs> No. I heard the booth door to the booth open. Okay. What are you doing? Seeking love from you. Oh, I missed you dearly when we were apart. I broke up with her. She couldn't forgive me since I locked her. Locked her up? What? Don't you want this? I assumed you loved. When did I ever tell you that? Did you have, uh, now that you're mine, I won't ever let you take talk to anyone else. They're all mine. Only mine. I don't want to share them with anyone else. No, 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 no. You're not the altar voice. No, no, the joke. Terrible joke. Oh no, oh no. Okay. She must be worried about you. Okay, let's try the fourth ending. Because of your advice, my fiancé forgave me and we made up. And now we're already set the date of our wedding. Without you, I don't know what would have happened to our relationship, so thank you truly. Oh, fucking thank goodness, it's a happy ending. Now call me Sammy out in public. It's alright, I don't mind. I want, what I wanted to say was, will you officiate our wedding? It would be my pleasure. Oh my god, it's a happy ending. 
Okay. Please. You're the only person who's right for me, father. Uh, excuse me, for us, I mean. Also, if it's possible, could we name our firstborn after you? Sammy, that's too much to ask. I want everything in my life to revolve around father. You're quite the joker. I appreciate your enthusiasm, Samael. Even if I'm married, even when I'm, I'll always come to visit you to hear your sermon. And you are always welcome here. Okay. So, four endings. Yandere. Yander. Yandere too far. Yandere repentant. Yandere initiate. And Yandere. And underlying Yandere. So. I am glad. Well, this was actually a quick game. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. This was this was a quick little venture, and I hope to see you guys in the in my future videos because I'm gonna I'm gonna try doing twelve days of Yaoi for December. Sorry, twelve days of BL. So tune in for that, and I hope to see you guys there. Now, Freddy Mac is signing out. Now, before we end, let's give huge thanks to Sebastian, Jen Van S, David S. Edwards IV, Louis John, CC Anthony, Darius Tan, Jeremy Shaw, Victor H., Dominic Ruiz, Rashid Watson, William Johnson, Sean Thomas, Stephen, Sam Omar, David Virtue, Ryder Evans, Yo Yo Dre, Jerry52, Russell, Philip, Elezena, and everyone at the Slower Tears. Thank you so much for your continued support. Without them and without you guys, I would not be here. So thank you so much. And this, we're gonna try wrapping up this year with uh, this big bang. <laughs> Alright?